Our first question for tonight is from Brother Nu'man, and this was uh, from last program's uh, questions or emails. He says, what is the procedure to take back a wife once a man has divorced her? Rujur or reconcile? First of all, it is important to understand the concept of marriage and divorce. And this may take a while. So if there are people who are interested in calling, they might be put on hold for a little bit of time. Marriage in Islam is one of the easiest things that can ever happen because people frequently need it. And whenever there is a need for something, Islam makes it easier. So breathing is essential for our lives. So it is the easiest thing to do. Just inhale and you are breathing. Drinking water is very essential, essential in our lives, but it is of a lower degree of importance. So you can find water, but not as easy as your uh, finding air. Now, when it comes to marriage, if a man is interested in marrying a woman and everything has been done, the due diligence and oh, everything is, had been taken care of, the proceeding is as following. The guardian of the girl, with her consent, proposes to the boy. So he says, I give you my daughter, I give you my sister in marriage. The boy accepts and he says, I accept her marriage. In the presence of two witnesses or more, the marriage is done. So marriage is verbal and it's a commitment. Once the transaction, once the contract, once this uh, uh, operation has been done, she's his wife legally. They can assume their marital life as a man and his wife. Now, Islam gives the man the right to divorce. And he has three chances of divorce. Divorce is or takes place by uttering it. So the intention does not qualify. Someone says, Wallahi, I intend to divorce you to his wife. This is not a divorce. I will divorce you. This is not a divorce. I think we have to get divorced. This is not a divorce. It has to be a statement or a verb in the sense that I divorce you. Done. Or you are divorced. Boom. Done. Halas. It's over. But he has three chances. So if he says, I divorce you, the divorce took place. One down, two to go. Yet they're still man and wife until the idda period is over. And what is idda? Idda is the waiting period after the divorce. If a woman is not pregnant, her idda period is three monthly cycles. If she is too old, so she is in her menopause, or She's too young to have menses. In this case, instead of three monthly cycles, her idda or waiting period is three months. If she's pregnant, in this case, her idda period ends the moment she gives birth. And this may be seven months, six, five, three, four, two, depending on her pregnancy. Now, it is prohibited for a man to divorce his wife when she is in her menses or when she is in the state of purity, yet he had intercourse with her in that state of purity. This is called talaqun bid'i, innovated uh, um, divorce. Does it happen? The four schools of Thoughts say he's sinful, but it is effective. It is valid. So if a person wants to, to divorce, what does he do? And this is part of the wisdom of Islam. If I want to divorce my wife, God forbid, and I'm angry at the moment, yet we had intimacy a few days, few weeks ago, Islam tells me, wait, 
until she gets her menses. After she's pure from her menses, now she's in the state of purity that we had no intimacy in. Now I can divorce her. And 99.9% .9 of all divorce cases are canceled because of this. Because in a state of fury and anger or rage, people tend to forget and forgive after a couple of hours. But if he divorced on the heat of his anger, then we would have broken the house, the marital house, the marriage, etc. The second permissible type of divorce is when a woman is pregnant. Because usually men, when they find their women pregnant and they're angry and they want to divorce, they always remember the child that is coming to this world soon and they feel regretful to have this child born into a divorce. So they usually hesitate. But if a man says to his wife, I divorce you or you're divorced while she's pregnant, this is 100% valid divorce. So, Sheikh, what, what to do? We've already divorced. I already divorced my wife. What to do now? I want to reconcile. Well, as long as she's in the state of idda, you're still man and wife. She lives in the house. You're not allowed to take her out, kick her out to her parents' house. She is forced to stay in your house. You can look at her, she looks at you, she cooks to you, you talk like man and wife. Everything is as normal, except that there's no intimacy at all. So for these three monthly cycles, usually a couple of months, a little bit less, a little bit more, they're still man and wife. They see each other every single day, they sleep on the same bed or in the same room. Inevitably, things would come back to normal, inshallah, Usually they kiss and make up after a week or two, maybe a month or so. But inevitably, because they see each other, they still feel the fire going on. So they reconcile. How to reconcile? Either verbally by telling her that I have reconciled with you or by having intimacy with the intention of getting her back. Her knowledge of uh, revoking the divorce or reconciling is not essential. So if he goes, if he divorces her today and at night he goes to his friends or his family and say, listen, I divorced my wife tonight, but between you and me, I have reconciled with her. So I revoked my divorce. So this means that she is his wife, but maybe he does not want to tell her so that she would be reprimanded for the things that he had, she had done. And he's utilizing this one divorce out of three to the benefit of the marital life so that it would be a long-term marriage rather than a short-term marriage. This is okay. There's no problem. Does the woman have the right to reject revoking her divorce or refuse to come back? No, she has no choice in it. This is not her right. She has to come back and comply. He did this once, one down, two to go. He divorced her again. The same procedure. Two down, one to go. If he utters the third divorce, it's over. Game is over. They immediately turn into nan mahrams, total strangers. And he cannot revoke the, the, the divorce. And in order to marry her, she has to marry a different bloke, a different man, a real marriage, lives with him. And whenever they are divorced, a real divorce, not with the intention to go back to the first guy, then they can remarry with the conditions of her consent, the consent of her guardian, a uh, new mahar, a dowry, and two male witnesses or more. Now, one usually ask, what's the ruling on divorcing my wife more than once? So there are so-called quote unquote men, or if you call them male, 
that would be better because men is a higher level than a male. You get gorillas males and donkeys as males, but not men. Men is a title given that you have to earn by taking the right decision, by measuring the consequences of your actions and of your words before doing or saying any of that. So some so-called men divorce without thinking and not once, maybe 10 or 15 or 20 times. So when he's angry with his wife, I divorce you, you're divorced, divorced, divorced. And he repeats it 10 times. And after half an hour, he's still enraged. He said, I divorce you another 10 times. So this is like a Kalashnikov, AK-47. So many divorces in one push of a button or a trigger. Now, all of this is an issue of dispute, whether the three divorces take place or not. And the most authentic opinion is if this issue was displayed to a mufti, usually the most authentic opinion is the mufti says, like the ruling of the Prophet ﷺ, only one divorce counts. If the case goes to a judge, it depends on the country he is in. So in some countries, like Hanafi school of thought, they would say three counts as three. So it's permanent. And the guy is just married last week. And they say, you cannot go back together. You cannot revoke the marriage. And this is also acceptable because this is the ruling of the Muslim ruler in that country. So it's binding. You have to stick with it because this is the ruling of the country you're in. So you have to be careful before issuing this statement of divorce. You have to utilize the period of waiting period if you already divorced and want to reprimand your wife and want to remove any misconceptions or misunderstandings between you so that you don't divorce her again the following month. What's the point then of this first divorce if you did not utilize it? And um, a, a Muslim man should be careful, weigh the consequences before uttering this word and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.